May is Lyme Disease Awareness Month when Mainers are urged to use precautions against deer ticks that carry Lyme and other diseases. This year's theme from the Maine CDC is Stop, Check, Prevent, reminding people to check for ticks because personal prevention measures are the best way to protect yourself and your family. Now, more folks, though, are shunning synthetic repellents in favor of natural remedies, but questions remain about whether they can do the job effectively. News Center's Vivian Lee reports from Freeport. Before four-year-old Anna Kelly heads for the swing set, her mother sprays against deer ticks that causes Lyme disease and other illnesses. But instead of a synthetic repellent such as DEET, which can be toxic in large doses, especially for children, Sarah Kelly uses a blend she mixes up herself to ward off ticks. I dilute it in witch hazel, and so that kind of is the carrier that gets the oils on their skin. I'll put it on their clothes, I'll spray it on their socks and shoes. Sarah is an independent wellness advocate for doTERRA, a company that sells essential oils. She uses oils derived from plants that can naturally repel ticks, including rosemary, lavender, cedarwood, and citronella. They're not going to choose my leg because it doesn't smell good. It's acting like a plant that they have no interest in being on. Now, there are other plants deer ticks dislike, including sage, marigold, and catnip. And you can plant them in your yard, especially around the perimeter of your home, to help keep them away. Chuck Lubelchuk is a field biologist with the Maine Medical Center Research Institute. He says some natural repellents can have some effect on deer ticks, but have a much lesser impact on dog ticks, also known as wood ticks. A lemon oil of eucalyptus that you would put on, similar to DEET, that you can put on your clothing or yourself or your skin. It actually works to repel ticks and mosquitoes. But he says there have been few clinical studies to test the effectiveness of essential oils as tick repellents. As there's not a lot of efficacy data and a lot of testing being done to actually say these things actually do work. Luvelchek says while DEET repels ticks, permethrin actually kills them. Permethrin, though, should not be applied to bare skin because it will cause irritation, but it can be very effective when applied to clothing and left to dry for 24 hours. Despite using natural repellent, putting down mulch and other barriers against ticks, this nature-loving family does find an occasional tick on themselves, underscoring the importance of doing daily tick checks from head to toe. I comb through their hair when they're getting undressed. I check their bodies. They check their own bodies. An important routine this family hopes will keep them protected from tick-borne illness in the long run. In Freeport, Vivian Lee, New Center, Maine. Now, when it comes to pets, veterinarians advise against using essential oils on cats. And a number of essential oils are also not recommended for dogs, so check with your vet first. You'll find more information on EPA-registered tick repellents and other resources on our website and mobile app.